Hello and welcome to another edition of All About Apps by Cleverout Studio. Today's topic is devoted to Uber. To be specific, we're going to talk about Uber-like businesses and help you figure out why Uber's business model is so successful. So, let's not waste our time. When someone's idea is successful, new companies and bold entrepreneurs try to create something similar and repeat their success. The success of Uber's service has provoked the emergence of numerous businesses operating in the on-demand economy. There is even a special term – Uber for X, where X is any service you can provide using Uber's business model. In a nutshell, Uber's business model adheres to three main principles. Customer receive their required offline service just after online ordering. Service providers are free to choose whether they will provide the service to that particular customer or decline the request. Two separate mobile apps for the service provider and consumer are supposed to be used. The services that are involved in Uber for X Gold Rush are very different. Uber for laundry, Uber for trucks, Uber for pharmacy, just name a few. Let's now explore what business model Uber is grounded on and how all those Uber for X can make use of it. Alex Osterwalder's business model canvas is the best way to represent the company's business model and understand how everything is organized. There are nine important parts that jointly will lead to success. The Uber-like business model has two separate markets that make it valuable – service providers and service consumers. You should define what value you are going to deliver to both. Don't copy someone's way of thinking, create your own. There is no need to invent something new. All established industries can be modernized and improved. Why not the help of your product? To know who you help with your product is even more important than how you can help. Engaged customers are the foundation of any successful business. Creating a product for a two-sided market, keep in mind that you deliver different sorts of values for both segments. Think about the reasons why customers want to use your product. This will help you identify the categories of people that will appreciate your solution. The next step is to understand how your business is going to link with the customer segment. Remember that not all users are equal, especially when your business is Uber for X1. Service providers and service consumers may require different channels of distribution. Now, after you know the user audience and they know about you, it's time to decide on how you would interact. With the wide spreading of social networks, customer relations have changed. Now, companies can not only get deeper insights from their customer via communities, but also involve them in the process of your product improvement. Developing the revenue model that will suit your business is an individual thing and there is no universal recipe. We have a short hint for you. Leave your strategy someplace to give your users some special threats, discounts, events, special offers, and so further. By the way, we'll get lots of information for you how to generate revenue from your ideas and much more. So subscribe to our channel and make sure you don't miss something important. First of all, a platform that will connect the service provider and service consumer. Secondly, the base of service providers. Remember that technology is your friend. Whenever you can do without manual operations, do it. The same story with ownership. Try to reduce the number of on-site staff or equipment. Uber's approach of how to make the product work is perfectly well thought out and more importantly suits any Uber's for its business. They have created a platform, launched marketing campaigns, hired service providers and ensured customer support. To get things done, you need to find those who will help you perform your activities and form partnerships. The last but not the least thing in the Uber-like business model is what it will cost you. Here is a list of expenses you should be prepared for. Tech infrastructure, app creation and maintenance, salary for permanent employees, marketing expenses. The price of creating Uber-like apps depends on the number of factors, platforms, features and functionality, and your budget. See the detailed infographic in our article to get deeper insight on price formation for Uber for X businesses. Finally, our experience in creating and supporting project focus on providing on-demand service like Uber lets us share some advice with you. If you find it interesting, you are welcome to read those advice in our article. Make sure you are ready for the release. By the way, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel's latest updates. See you next time, take care of yourself! <laughs>